undoubtedly this is Annie and welcome if you're new to my channel welcome again I am Annie so today we are going to discuss aloe vera because we're going to be making there are a couple of you that were asking me to show you how I do my aloe vera. So we're going to be making some aloe vera oil and aloe vera gel today. And the gel is what we put on our hair when we are going to wash it. Alright, so I'm just going to be doing it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna just cut off the end and I am gonna just soak a few of these in some water for a little bit because sometimes they have a slimy yellow thing that comes out that you really don't want to be. So I'm gonna use this and the end of this one as well for my oil that I cut off. Yeah. Now these sharp edges you have to cut them off. Cut them off. And deposit it. Then what I normally do is just cut it in strips. Fine strips. And I use everything. I use the ends, I use the inside and the outside, I should say, because it makes the oil more potent. So you're just gonna cut this up. I'll probably finish cutting it up uh, off camera. All right, so we are all done cutting up our aloe vera. See, is in small strips like this. Some of them are red, not sure, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Now today, we are gonna be using grapefruit seed oil and avocado oil. And the reason I like using these oils, some people use olive oil, but the reason I like using these oils is because they're very lightweight. And I like, you know, the lightness of them on our skin. And also the grapeseed oil and the avocado oil have a good heating content, so they last longer. And I, right, so I have my pot all ready. And I'm going to just put my... Uh, other people do it different ways, but this is the way I do it because this is the way that works for me. Um, so I put my aloe vera in the pot. I just want to cover it with the oil. I don't want, you know, I don't want like too much oil, so the oil just needs to cover. So I probably put a half cup of grapeseed oil and uh, a cup of grapeseed oil and a half cup of avocado oil. Sometimes I use sunflower oil as well, but I like I like the grapeseed and the avocado oil for your skin, so. So that's why I'm using the two of those and, and, that, and I also put some coconut oil certain times as well. So, but we just cover it with the oil and I am going to turn my stove to low very low and that is going to stay for about an hour, two hours, but I eyeball it because it would stop boiling. It would stop bubbling because the water content from the 
aloe vera would be boiling. So that is how I make my oil. So this is our aloe vera in the pot. And as you can see, the oil is just barely covering it. So I'm going to let that simmer until the aloe vera turns brown and crispy and the oil turns clear. Make sure to keep the pot on very low heat. Okay, family, I'm going to show you guys how to make my aloe vera gel spray, which is a great detangler. Aloe vera gel that we would put on our hair, which I said is a great detangler. And, and it is a very great detangler. When you try it, you're going to be so surprised. So we are doing the same thing, cutting off the rough edges and then we are going to just scrape out the inside. And I had it soaking and as you can see the water is slightly yellow. So that's what I wanted to come out a bit. I wanted that yellow thing to come out because sometimes it could be pretty potent. Um, so I am going to scrape out this into my blender. We are going to put some skins in this as well because the skins are, you know, it just boosts this whole thing up a little bit. So we're going to scrape out some, but we're going to put some skins as well. careful if you wanted to use a knife be careful with this because aloe vera is very slippery some people don't like the smell but I like the smell because it doesn't bother me because I grew up with it and it really doesn't bother me I grew up with this all around my house and in Barbados most household had this in their backyard <laughs> so all right so we're all done scraping it out and as y'all can see see how goo it is um you get the goo this is the part that i love um, okay so what i'm doing now is cutting up some of the skins to put in our leave-in I am going to probably use this on my daughter's hair today. So, and these three I'm going to put in the pot with the other stuff to, to make my oil a little bit more potent than it was. So, so we are going to just mix our It's going to get a little rain and I'm going to use my stocking cap to sieve because we really don't want this thing in our hair and I'm going to show you what will be in your hair. It would take forever to get it out. Uh, we really don't want that in our hair. Alright, our aloe vera oil has started to sit. So I am just going to lower my stove now. Okay, so guys, so sweet family, look at what would be in your hair. That is what would be in your hair, and you don't want it in your hair, trust me. So, let's 
So then after we do all that, you can, the choice is yours. You can put it in, you can put it in one of these bottles or you can, it's up to you, or you can put it in spray bottle, right? I did some this morning, so this is the one that I did this morning. So you can, you know, that's the way how it looks. I'm going to sip out this one. You can add some oil to this. You can add like essential oil, rosemary. Rosemary is good for your hair. Um, you can add what you want to add to it, but I like to use it with just probably a little bit of rosemary or something. You don't want to put too much heavy oil in it. I use it as my detangler and leave it. So I am so this is it. This is the way it looks. The mind the first is going to go down. It's going to look like this one. So if y'all enjoyed that content, just give me a like. I love hearts and I especially red hearts because red is my favorite color. So give me a like, a share, and subscribe. All right, so I want to just let y'all know that this is Sweet Annie again, but if you think that you might be allergic to aloe vera, the best thing to do is to do a patch test before you even try putting it on your skin or anything like that, okay? And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. This is Sweet Annie again. And have an awesome, blessed day.